It's unlocked. Oh, I don't understand. Hey. I'm in all of these photos. You got my mug shot. All of them. Actually, I'm trying to get it must like, be some my, kind of mistake. My, my Why would they want there. me here? Well, that well, must be an old case. There. Something I've forgotten. A screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I've got to think. Think. About what? The it's fire is still burning. I don't want to look at the fire. I want to look at the fire. It must have been lit recently. But it started to die down. Another key. Oh, hey, I found a key. This should fit the door across the hall. Hey, look at this sexy guy. Hey, it's me. Oh, oh, I don't think I can zoom in this game. Darn you, Splendid. You've ruined me. All these photos and clippings are of me. I just don't get it. So let's go this way. It's unlocked. Yeah. For nutcases, they seem quite literate. It appears to be a private study area. No. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. Yep. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. Uh, it's scary. It's a mirror. I don't like mirrors. Whoa. 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 What? What? Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Let's look around a little bit more. First. Hello, oh, mirror. Just swell. He's dead. The beam must have fallen and crushed his skull. Oh, hello. Oh, man. Dead bodies. And plenty of them. This doesn't bother me at all. What's going on down here? Does not bother me at all. Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical. Oh, what's going on in here? Wasn't expecting that. It was cool. What's this? What's this? What's this? It looks like his stomach. The no, contraption sorry. above seems what to be controlling this? his breathing, his beating heart. Beating heart. That looks like any heart I've ever seen. Yep. Hey, buddy. You okay? You doing okay, buddy? Good God! What the hell is all this? You okay there? Oh, it looks like his brain. I wonder what those wires. This pipe must drain the waste from. Looks like his kidneys. They're moving around in all that liquid. Where's his heart? You didn't have a heart? Haha, uh, you don't have a heart, dude. You heartless little bitch. I've never seen such equipment before. Oh, what's this? Who could have made such a machine? Uh, I've never seen equipment this? like this before. What am I? This, this, this is the part. Okay. This tunnel feels like it's gonna collapse at any moment. Well, hopefully it won't. Because it's a video game. Nothing can go back in the video game. Ah! It's too hot to pick up. Oh, too hot. There's no power. No power. Can I, like, run? Is there a run feature in this? That make me so happy. What the hell is that? No idea. I was hoping you could tell me, Mr. Jack Penis Walters. It's too hot to touch. I think it's being used as a power source for the machine. Uh, I really don't know where I'm going in there. Uh, there oh, maybe... How did I miss this area? Oh, shit. Oh. I'm not touching it again. Oh, I think I just killed you, bro. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna kill you. Crazy cult is you. You crazy, silly cultist. I wonder if they were testing or replacing all of his organs with monkey organs. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> uh, do I have power down here now? There's no power. Dang it. Where do I get the power from? from it's here? too hot no. to touch. Dang. I think it's being used as a power source for the Save. machine. Looks like some sort of generator for the machinery in this room. Okay. I've never seen equipment like this before. His kidneys have stopped moving. His intestines have stopped moving. There's no power. Uh, oh. The crystal's uh -huh. still warm. Gotcha. I gotcha. I figured it out. I can solve the puzzle. Now, I can jump. I know I can jump. Yes, I love games where I can jump. This is the best game ever. Uh, wait, I 
jumped earlier. How did I just now realize I can kill him? This guy. <laughs> it looks like something's been removed from it. Well, it's a similar shape to the slot upstairs. Oh, there we go. Let's go hit the button, dude. Yeah. Up door shut. That's not cool. That's not good. Am I really to Cthulhu? Cthulhu. Cthulhu? Is that you, Cthulhu? Hello? Jesus. Jesus? Cthulhu? Is that you, that? Cthulhu? It looks like I can't Cthulhu either, see? I'm gonna kind of, I wanna walk away from here right now. Is the drop door still? No. I'm so curious, I need answers. I need the answers. The diary of Jack Penis Walters, private detective. I detect privates. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange <laughs> house in Boston. Named by him, Jack Penis Walters. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. It's been a while. It's been a couple months. I think I need... According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours. Only to find me later collapsed on the floor. opened and I spoke. My colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. Can I be a Batman villain? I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together Walter. show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. Yeah, whatever, dude. We all think I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston. No trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. Just, just I'm there you go, shadow bro. From that day, more than Dude. six years passed. Like I'm totally totally what am I drawing? Am I drawing Thulu? Is that how I awaken Thulu? Jack Walters. I want to awaken Thulu. Yeah, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your that help like finding a, a missing person. Sounds like a totally made up name. I don't take that kind of job. Did you get my package? Um, hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me check my mail. Where's my mail at? Dollar bills, y'all. Dollar bills. Um, it's one of my store managers. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the First National Grocery Store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. I'm just gonna call it Innsmouth. fishing town on the No, because that looks like it's far from our mouth. Uh, I'd like to town. see you in person before you leave. No. You Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. I'll be here all day anyway. I'll advance the game plot. Sure. I got a pen. Nice. Hope it's relevant. That was probably just on the table, anyways. Oh well. 
New client, February 6th, 1922. Night. I have a new client, Mr. Arthur Anderson, the regional manager of the First National Grocery Store chain. Aw, oh, yeah! First National Grocery Store chain. I hope that's what they call it. Uh, F-N-G-S-C. I hope that's just on all their buildings. Uh, it appears that the First National Grocery in Innsmouth was recently burglarized, and its manager, one Brian Burnham, is missing. Oh, no. From what I've been able to gather, 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 Burnham is something of a young rogue, a rapscallion, some might say. A friend of my, uh, the family, Mr. Anderson, gave him the job as a favor. Bad move, bro. Burnham is looking like the prime suspect for the robbery, but there are a few things that don't add up. Not to Anderson and not to me. For instance, why would Burnham force an entry into the store when he had a full set of keys, free access to the cash register, and the combination to the back office safe? To misdirect any investigation? That was his plan. Why did he disappear? Following my conversation with Mr. Anderson, I found out what I could uh, about the ancient town of Vincent. For generations, the crumbling seaboard and its people have been shunned by neighboring communities. Well, do you blame them? Outsiders are unwelcome there, and there are superstitious tales of a strange element in the town's oldest family. I don't this is, okay. I'm just gonna leave it up here, and you guys can pause the video if you dudes want to read it. Right there, okay. Loading. A visit to the old town. I do not expect the reader to believe what I am about to relate. Any sane mind must reject such a fantastic oh, thing. A visit to the old town from the start of your investigation in Innsmouth, you will have permanently, you know, shaving, 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 to Innsmouth, 7th of February, 1922. Driver, how far did we stop? It's almost there. I'll drop you at the town square in Innsmouth. Why lock the gates? Capes out wanderers looking for work. There were no folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many contents, but... But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Is with us the means to look after them all. stop is Newburyport. Oh. Could you direct me to the First National yeah. Grocery Store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing oh, about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a him. young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. So, well, who are you talking about, fella? We'll go ahead and go in here. Let's Chit chat to him. going to get no place fast. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Still Walters. Hunter, I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Really hard to run a hotel. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? Should I bolt? I'd not rightly know that for sure. We'll have its cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. You didn't let people in from out of town. Lying son of a gun. Okay, Talking to this fellow is getting me nowhere. He's more than a touch creep. I know. If I need I a room, know. and I'm What's desperate, that? then I'll come back. Hello, well, desperate. Jack Penis Walters is always desperate. It won't. Hey guys, hope you like Call of Cthulhu Part Two. I'm gonna put Part Three up really soon. I've got like three parts. I kind of split this one together. Uh, I didn't really have any good stopping points for this one, so we're just gonna kind of cut it right there and then just throw the next one in. Yay! Enjoy. Boom.